Well, we're hearing uh, uh, <laughs> we're hearing the rumble of the next car. I don't know what it, uh, what is what does your ear tell you, uh, Bob? This must be um, you must be able to tell what's coming up. It's the uh, well, '67 Coronet. It's a Dodge a '67 Dodge Coronet, one of uh, Mopar's, one of the Mopar drag cars. You know, one of the queens of Woodward Avenue back in the day. Um, super nice car. Again, looks very straight. And this was another one of these cars with, um, oh, he's even, looks like he even has a roll cage in it, so he probably does some serious competition work with it. But yeah. these cars were horrendously fast. And if you if you look at it, you know, they're, they're taking an extra second to take some, looks like they're taking some hood pins out. And, uh, boy, this is just the Macomb Missile. I mean, this one is, uh, yeah, this that's tweaked. basically tricked out like a race car. Yeah, so what are, what are we looking at there? We're looking at an inside roll cage where the, the driver has to uh, climb over those side protection bars to get in the car, and then you got a full roll cage in the back and on the top so that the uh, a driver and passenger are basically fully protected in the case of rollover. It almost looks like you need a whole team of people to get you in that thing. It is tough. I mean, I've, I've actually raced cars with that and they have to kind of shoehorn you in through a window feet first well and certainly a lot of instrumentation yeah a full complement of gauges and of course as you could see the most important one is the tack and that was front and center yeah it's a, and they're inside the engine compartment what are we seeing in there yeah that's a nasty looking car is that dual carbs it's hard to say what that setup is yeah it's it's dual quads there well, let's uh, not guess. Let's learn more about it. Eric Gorgeous uh, with Michael Ricketts, uh, the 1967 uh, Dodge Cornette. Eric, over to you. Hey, man. How are you? Great. How are you doing? Very well. Very well. Fun to be here. Nice to meet you both. What do we got here? This thing's a beast. Okay. It's an original 1967 67 Cornette 440 body style. Uh -huh. It's a factory uh, WO package. Uh, super stock race car. Chrysler built 55 of these in 1967, and they built 55 Plymouths. This thing was just built to race. Um, yeah, but it, initially the car had all the street legal components on right. it, and the race car parts were in the trunk. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. You got the steering wheel with you. Not oh, a whole yeah. lot of cars tonight have the, the wheel pop off so you can no. get in and out. No, no. Not normally. <laughs> Not normally. And the hood? Pinned hood, so you got to pull it off. It's a right. glass hood, right? Right, absolutely. Um, it's supposed to be steel. It will be next year. We're going a little backwards with the car now, getting it like it was. Are you? Um, car street legal right now, other than it doesn't have the exhaust system on it. It's registered, got plates. I got an exhaust system at home for it. Yeah, leave it at home. This yeah, that sounds great. Uh, it's, it's, this thing sounds awesome. It sounds awesome, angry. <laughs> it sounds angry. So, how long have you had it? Um, I bought this car, it was basically a piece of wreckage in 1999. I couldn't afford a real super stock car that was nice. Okay. And so I spent five years restoring it. Five years? Five years. That's and not bad. No, it, you know, it seemed like a long time when I was doing it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But at the end, you know, I was I was pretty pleased with the results. Oh, you should be, man. So. You should be. Now, did you go through the entire car? One, from front bumper to back bumper, absolutely everything. All right. I mean, it was, I mean, the car was basically ready for the scrapyard. Really? And the guy that saved it only saw the VIN numbers on it that said it was a factory race car. Thank God he saved it. Yeah. When, it, when he found it, it had a Ford big block and a Ford transmission in it. Seriously? Seriously. Oh, man. Why would somebody do that to a nobody factory Nobody knew what it was car. anymore. Oh, geez. No, it passed through so many hands, nobody knew what it was anymore. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Um, What's your favorite part about this car? Actually... The interior, and that's because that's the part I see when I'm driving it. So I made the interior very nice for me. I mean, I, I love the whole car, but the interior is my favorite part. Yeah, anything particularly special about the interior for you? It's just a color combo. It's like kind of a three-color thing yeah. that they did in the 50s and the early 60s. Okay. And I always like that rather than the just plain stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little yeah. brighter inside. So have you had it out on the track? Not yet. This is a brand new motor. Um, it runs on 93 octane pump gas. Nice. And. Uh, it made 886 horsepower. Nice, real nice. You yeah. can hear it too. I mean, this thing sounds fantastic when yeah. you roll it Thank up. you very much. I mean, it's just a beautiful car. It's been a labor of love, and it's kind of a love-hate thing between me and this car. Well, congratulations, man. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming out so much. So nice meeting you. Thank you. Have a great cruise. Oh, we will. Thank you very much. All right.